Hi, I'm Lydia Lynette, an iconographer. We've given ourselves a challenge today to talk about the three essential icons necessary for the home icon corner. The first icon is an icon of Christ. These are the three icons that I showed you before, so we're going to start with the one of Christ because he's in the center. I have three different options, actually with that one, four, of Christ. Here's Logos Emmanuel. This is Christ the teacher. And here we have a Mandelian. Christ is the head of the church. And here you have Christ in glory. And his glory, you can see the rays, is going out into the entire universe. Why is Christ in the center of the icon corner? It's simple if you know three things. Christ is the proto-human. He is the proto-icon, and that was told to us by St. Paul in Colossians. The second thing is that Orthodox Christians believe that when God made Adam and Eve, he made them, and subsequently all of humankind, in his image and likeness. Image is the English word for icon. So you have the sequence of icons, and what that means for the Orthodox Christian, which is distinctive, and why we have icons in our worship, is that every icon is a witness to the incarnation of Christ. If any of us understood the impact, the full impact of the incarnation of Christ, our world would be a different place. So when you approach the icon corner, you know that you're meditating and contemplating on what does it mean that God became man for me. The second thing is, second icon, is an icon of the Theotokos. Here I have two that are similar. These are called tenderness icons. And then I have a, a little paper one here, which is a favorite icon of a um, abbot of a monastery, which I keep, he's a friend. And what, why the Theotokos? Well, the Theotokos, first of all, it's a name for Mary. It means God receiver. She received God within her and became the vessel through which God became man. When she was greeted by an angel and the angel Gabriel told her what was going to happen, she said something that echoed the words of God in Genesis. When God said, let there be light, he created the world. When Mary said, let it be, be it unto me, it was through though her willingness to accept Christ within her that the light of the world, Christ, became human and recreated our fallen world so that we could be saved. The final and third essential icon could be any icon that makes it more personal. Every icon essentially becomes an icon of Christ. We have the round halo and that shows the holiness of the saint. And so it would be any saint or angel that you feel particularly close to. So here's Saint Simeon the God Receiver and he took God in his arms. I just love that one. Here's a, a guardian angel. Everybody has a guardian angel. I have my name saint here. This is an icon that was painted by a Romanian nun, which is an icon of the Archangel Michael. Here's a gift somebody gave me, which is an icon of a new saint, Saint Paisius. And then of course, I have a, a little icon of Saint Nicholas for Saint Nicholas Church. So there you have it, three essential icons. And then our next talk, we'll talk about what it means to pray with icons. Thanks.